Day 23. I've totally screwed myself. I fell for a new trick. I've been using uh, YouTube Creator Studio. It's a, you know, an app I haven't used before. And it said that everything was uploaded. It told me everything I put in was uploaded. It was just waiting to process. And I'm like, cool, letting it do its thing. I'm going out, clearing out space in my phone. La, 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 everything's loaded. No, nothing loaded. It lied to me. And so I deleted a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff is in the webs. Totally screwed. But hey, man, it's all part of the plan, you know. It, 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 I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, and sometimes I'm forced to be places because, you know, YouTube fuck-ups. But I, I'm not falling for that same trick twice. So, you know, I, I've got a few videos that I was able to fix and get going, which gives me a little bit of time. Now, if I rush my ass to the next town, well, the town after the next town, called Grants, then hopefully I can get there, and I'm just going to stop the trail. I'm just done right there, and I'm going to fix all my YouTube woes, and everything will work out, man. Everything will be great. Because mostly I lost my still pictures. And going through the Gila, it was gorgeous, man. There was tons of still pictures. And I didn't mind losing those in the other three videos because there weren't many of them. No big deal. But once I got into the Gila, it was gorgeous. So I'm bringing that back, man. I'm not going to... I don't want... You know, I want my videos to be good for me. You know, I want you guys to enjoy them too. And I'm glad you do. But me in 10 years, man, I'm going to be like, what? Oh, man, why didn't I fix that? You know, so I'm going to fix that. And, you know, that's one of those things that puts me in a certain place at a certain time. And, you know, I'm a firm believer of being exactly where I'm supposed to be. So this is all part of it, man. So Jandals and I have an agenda, man. It's like almost 6 a.m. I'm waiting for those few videos I fixed to upload. Ah, so cutting it close. But we have to make it to Pie Town before noon because that's when the post office closes. It's only open for four hours a day. So in and out, man. We don't want to get stuck in Pie Town. I mean, if I was going to stuck anywhere, I'd stay here at Davila Ranch again because they have pretty decent Wi-Fi and I'm the only one on it. All right, but, yeah, so... I'm waiting for these things to upload. I only got a little bit left. And then I'm taking off, man, and race to Pie Town. So finally out of Davila Ranch. We're glad we didn't leave yesterday. This road turned to soup. The only reason we're able to walk on it right now is because it's still frozen. But, uh, yeah, we're still leaving some deep footprints in the mud. This stuff just turns to mud instantly because it did not rain nor snow that much. <sighs> but wise decision to stay. You can't say enough good stuff about Davila Ranch. I mean, John, the owner, real cool cat. Uh, I don't know what he's getting out of it, but, I uh, mean, that's damn nice of him. Kind of an older hippie dude, even though he's a cowboy. Like, you know, real kind of cowboys that, you know, like, round up steer and brand them and shit. Uh, but he seems like an old kind of surfer, hippie kind of guy. Cool to hang with. Oh, uh, he didn't stop by at all yesterday. He got stuck in the mud. Uh, he was planning on coming by, but he wasn't able to make it. And now that I see the way the roads look, I can understand why. So glad we didn't try to leave yesterday. We'd have made it five steps in the stuff and gone up past our boots. And pulled a Darwin and just get off the trail because our shoes got muddy. Which, is uh, somebody showed me a post of his. He was doing the Arizona Trail and he got mud on his shoes. He's like, quitting for three weeks! I got mud on my shoes! Um, you know, haha. It's part of hiking, buddy. I know. Fathom that. All right, so we're going to race. Let's see if we can make it to the post office. We have like 14 miles to go, maybe 13 now. Uh, we are kind of booking it, maybe even a little less. But we have to hit there before noon, man. And it'd be nice to get breakfast, and I'll also have to hit the toaster house. See what kind of goodies people sent me, because I got a few resupply packages there. Hopefully some safety supplies. But, yeah, I'll take anything, man. I appreciate anything. All right, chilly morning, but... Beautiful. Uh, check, check, out, check out that that ah snow-covered mesa in the background. Badass. Ah, trying to keep up with Jandals. Well, apparently I lost my sunglasses again. Inconvenient. I didn't really like them anyway. They were dumb, you know, camouflage with a deer skeleton in the corner, and I could straight see it. Why would you put a logo on the glass part? Dumb idea. But I lost them anyway. I remember the last time I saw them was. When I was hanging out with Martin, I remember going to camp that night and moving them off to the side so I wouldn't step on them. And I didn't step on them. I just left them where they were sitting. Oh, well. I think I paid six bucks for them with the family discount they gave me at Doc Campbell. So, you know, no love lost. But I wouldn't mind having another set right now. Being the sun's all in my face. We're making good time, though. I swear I'm traveling at like three miles an hour, but my pack is so tiny... You know, it's easy peasy. I feel like I forgot something. Feels too light. But it's finally getting warm enough where I might have to do a wardrobe change here pretty quick. 
pleased about that. It's supposed to be in like the mid 60s today. Tomorrow's supposed to hit 70. What? Because, you know, I know the desert gets cold, but it, it's been a little colder out here than I expected, you know. I expected it to get a little chilly at night and, you know, be hot during the day or at least warmish. That's the desert I'm used to. New Mexico's a different beast. Uh, very, very windy animal and rather cold. Yeah, because it's like we weren't, you know, I didn't see any huge mountains or anything we'd be passing over in New Mexico, so I just thought it'd be kind of deserty. But there's many different deserts, you know. This is technically a desert right here, just high desert. And they're cold. Kennedy Meadows was a desert. You know, really high desert, but still a desert. Cold as hell. All right, but at least, you know, I brought gloves and things like that. Jandals didn't bring any of that stuff. His hands were killing him this morning. But... Sun came out, did its job, and yeah, I'm starting to sweat. Definitely time for a wardrobe change. So I'm doing pretty well with the uh, no tobacco thing because, you know, I'm forced to. There is no tobacco out here. Um, being an addict, I've done some disgusting things. You know, like I still have my little pipe that I've been smoking the tobacco out of. And I'm still, you know, I call it jibbing on the pipe. Still looking for little hits of tobacco in there. Um, you know, probably do it three or four times a day. And, you know, there's, there's not really in there. You get a little flavor of tobacco. But, hey, you know, it's better than nothing. I saw a cigarette butt, a half of one on the ground over there. Old me would have picked that up and shoved that in my pipe and smoked it. But no, no, I left it where it was. Although it's probably wet and frozen. I didn't think about that till now. But I was just glad I didn't even have the urge to pick it up. Because, you know, I've, I've, I've gone through an ashtray before for tobacco. Yeah, I'm not putting my lips on the cigarette butts. I roll my own out of their tobacco, but it's still gross. It is. I know it is. I'm hoping this town either has no tobacco or individual cigars for sale. I do love me a cigar. You know, something to tell a little thing to take with me out of town because I'm afraid if they don't have a little something, I might buy a lot of something. I am an addict. I understand this, you know. It, I'm not powerless against it. Oh, no, I'm not, but it's still got a grip on me, man. But it's been there my whole life. That's the monkey on my back, man. It's tobacco. Never had any other real drug problems. I dabbled, you know, a little bit here and there, here and there, here and there. But I never really truly got addicted to anything. Except that damn tobacco. And you could say coffee as well, but I don't consider that an addiction. I will enjoy that till the day I die, damn it. And if I could somehow have that coffee and just one cigarette with it in the morning, because they go so well together, and just stop at that cigarette, would love it, but... That's not the way tobacco works, man. It's all or nothing in my world. But I don't know what this next town has to offer. I want to get some sort of service as well. I would love to keep fixing some YouTube stuff. Because there's no way I'm letting those Gila River ones go half-assed like I let the last few go. And the last few was just a few stills here and there, here and there, you know. Hell, live without them. Close up of a lizard and stuff like that. Interesting plants. You know I do. I can live without that. I'm not spending hours getting that stuff back. But the Gila River, yeah. Even though I might luck out and do it again. The Villa Ranch was also able to help me out with another problem. My hands, they had lotion there. I can make a fist again. Sure, I got cracks, but they're not all gross and red on the inside. And they don't hurt nearly as much. I just lotion the hell out of myself over and over. It, it puts the lotion on its skin. I'm not fixed, but, you know... I'm on the mend, because that stuff was really hurt. And I saw Darian's hands. Her hands are even worse than mine. Both her thumbs are just split up. Ah, but she didn't take advantage of the lotion. So we just passed by the animal shelter, and they had a little bit of trail magic out there. A couple sports drinks and some water in a chest. Not much, but more than appreciated. I definitely took one of the sports drinks. I can use some electrolytes. We're traveling pretty fast. Jandals is doing a little over four miles an hour. I'm doing a little under four miles an hour. But that's super speeds for me. So we should be in town in plenty of time. Maybe even catch a breakfast or something. That'd be really sweet. Time to buy some sunglasses. Get rubber resupplies and out. Alright, I'm so glad we didn't try this yesterday. And so today it's soupy, muddy mix, and you know it's been dry all overnight. The sun's been on it for a few hours. This would have been a real bitch yesterday. Glad we waited.
I'm happy to sit on my butt and eat you know, pork chops and, and bacon and hamburger. Mm. I'm hoping I get in town in time for breakfast, but I don't know. I don't even know if this town has breakfast, but that, that, that's my hope. Get to the post office and get me some breakfast. And that is a pretty bitchin' rock structure. Probably didn't show up because it's in shadows, but there's a lot of color in there. Yellows, greens, reds. The road even changes color. I wonder if that has anything to do with that. Hmm. A lot of layers going on, man. Alright, I think I'm like three miles-ish or four from town, somewhere around there. I don't know how far in town I have to go to get the stuff I need. But it'd be nice if it was like right on the edge. The edge I'm on, not the other edge. Looks like I've made it to the outskirts of Pie Town. Unfortunately, no cellular service here. At least not for AT&T. I was hoping. And now I'm looking for a toaster house, which should be obvious because it should be a house covered in toasters. And... The post office. Post office first, then the other place. Grab some breakfast. You know, priorities. I smell fire. <laughs> smells good, too. Oh, I see a house with toasters on it. I mean, how many could there be? So far, Pie Town's kind of a shithole. I mean, I've lived in poor neighborhoods, but this place doesn't have building codes or anything, so you're able to just do whatever you want. Uh, at least that's what the guys I was talking to back uh, at the Villa Ranch said. And they're like, yeah, there's no building codes out here. You can do whatever you want. You just have to, you know, let them know that when you sell the property. So if you never sell, you can just keep doing all the crazy stuff you want to do. Yeah, but this has to be it. Hey, those aren't toasters. Guys and hikers were going onto their property. Yeah, you know, they got water spouts and stuff. So they're probably crossing over. To get to the RV park, which that's what this is, is the RV park. Hard to tell. Uh, but they have Wi-Fi here, so I'm going to try, see if I get a little stuff out while I'm here. So, I got way more resupply than I know what to do with, so I'm going to mail some on to the next town. I found some shoes in the hiker box, too, so I have camp shoes again. But, I got handwritten notes. Oh, Yeah. So, Kate and Bella, they actually sent me some cool stuff, man. Uh, turns out there are so many different kinds of M&Ms. And I remember last year on the trail, I found me a coffee M&M sitting on the ground. And I was like, oh, that was a coffee-flavored M&M, but I had never found them. But yes, they do exist. Check this jalapeno, or jalapeno peanut. What? Didn't even know. And my favorite would have to be coconut peanut. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but, you know, I'm a coconut fan. Uh, Squeeze and Jam sent me a bunch of stuff too. We got cheeses and, uh, and mountain houses. I don't off. I never get mountain houses, man. I got two of them now. What? You know, um, everybody knew to send me rice sides, so that's kick ass. Teriyaki rice and chicken rice. All sorts of good stuffs, man. So you guys hooked me up really well. I appreciate it. This is actually the box I sent myself. I'm going to send my box up to the next place because you guys sent me so much awesome stuff that I'd rather carry your food. So I thank you very much. So that totally makes my day, man. You know, like, it's nice that you guys go out of your way to send me stuff. It it feels good. It's nice going to the post office and just expecting my box. You know, people say they'll send you stuff, but, you know, you get your hopes up a little bit. Uh, but it was nice when I went in there and I had more than I could carry back here. I was struggling. My upper body is weak as hell. Oh, but that makes my day. Ah, So... Everybody else, because uh, we ran into Dairy in here, and they're all going. There's a place 16 miles up the way that everybody wants to stay. Her, Monster, some other guy that we ran into back at that one burrow place. I can't even remember what that was called. That burrow homestead. Oh, but Jan's going to try to catch up with them. I don't have 16 more left to me today. I've already done 14. You know, I might squeeze out another 10 or so, but I'm probably going to go sit over at the RV park and try to get one more video out of my phone. And then head on my way. You know, eat some breakfast, that kind of stuff. I'm not really in a hurry. Toaster house is rather nice. You know, it has everything a hiker would need. So, you know, like stuff to cook and all those stuff. A place to take a shower. What more do we need? There's an upstairs. It's cold in here. I'll give it that. They don't heat the place, but why would they, you know? That would just cost money. Whew. All right. 
So don't wet a can in my bag. Um, I'm preparing for another 75 miles or so to the next town. So I'm thinking I could do that in like four days. So I'll carry everything you guys gave me and send my stuff up to Grant's. She stopped by here. She left me a little bag, a little handwritten note, and my warm pants from the last trails. Oh, yeah, because it's way colder than we expected it to be. So it's nice to have my warm pants and to see a note from her. I miss that girl. We'll be seeing each other in like two weeks, but, you know, it's kind of a long two weeks. Oh, I'm excited to see what, you know, how many good foods I can fit. Look, look at that. All that is you guys. Thanks. Oh, see what I can carry with me. And what I have to mail on. And what I might leave here for another hiker. You know, but I'm probably going to be kind of selfish and take most of it. You know. right. Let's see what's going on upstairs. I haven't quite explored this place yet. Okay, sweet. They got all sorts of bunks. It's definitely warmer up here. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Ooh, the penthouse. Ooh, snazzy digs to wear. If I would have got here at a certain time, I'd have worn that. I've never actually worn a moo moo before. This is a pretty nice place. Oh, is that a little door and a little porch? Oh, how adorable. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice of them to just let us stay here, though. I mean, I doubt they get much out of it, because there's not a whole lot of hikers on this trail yet. So, you know, even with donations and whatnot, you're not going to get much, because there's not many of us. But it is really grand of them to allow us to stay here. Mm, much appreciated. Well, then they got various other bedrooms, you know, just tons of places for hikers to sleep all over the place. The hangout room, hiker boxes, the stuff we, you know, resupply boxes that came in. This room's kind of weird. Like maybe it was a kid's room at one point. I don't know. So I just sent my box off to Grants, New Mexico. I kept uh, two of you guys sent me because that was like the perfect amount. Oh man, white meat chicken and sausages, and cheese, hard cheese. I haven't had cheese in a while. Uh, so Jandals and I are gonna polish that uh, uh, big old summer sausages and cheese off. We're gonna make some tortillas and stuff. Ah, uh, I tried to get rid of that today. That's really heavy, but it's good stuff. Can't let it go to waste. So I'm going to be eating better than I've been eating in a while, which is good because I'm still having a hard time eating. So maybe having different and good foods will help. Ah, so it's almost noon. I barely got my package out in time. And now I can focus on trying to get everything in my bag and then try to get out of town today. Jandals is trying to make 16 more miles. I do not have that goal. But he's in a hurry. He wants to get all the way up to like Cuba or something. So he needs to get to Grants, which is, you know, 70, 80 miles away. Cuba's another 100 after that. And he plans on doing that all in the next week and a half or so. So uh, due to the issues I'm having with YouTube, uh, you know, that was my own fault. I fell for a stupid trick. Uh, but I'm going to jump off in Grants. That's my last stop. And then I'm going to sit there. Or if they don't have service or Wi-Fi, I'll hitch somewhere else. But I'm done with the trail at that point uh, until I fix everything. Everything must be fixed before I get back on. Go house in Albuquerque and everything should be great by then. Get back on the trail strong and with lots of space in my phone. So that is the goal. We'll see what we can do. And then who knows, maybe me and Jandals will meet up again. He's taking two weeks off. You know, I'm taking a week off and then going back where she's at. So we might run into each other again. It'd be cool. We had a bicyclist come in today. She was trying to ride down the road, but it was so muddy. She it's because it's not just mud, it's clay mud. So could not ride a bicycle through it. So she got a ride in. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting a ride in, but yeah, it's cheating at this point in the game. And it's gotta be something really good to make me want to blaze, you know. Okay, so I'm 145 pounds. And with my pack on. I am 185. 
Oh, no, that's almost 190, huh? Yeah, oh, almost 190. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, no one, no wonder my, my, my legs are tired, huh? You know, and now I got a lot of stuff on my back, but a lot of good stuff, so totally worth it. Okay, and already we're off. Look how tall my backpack is. Normally it doesn't even stick out in the videos, but... Ooh, ooh look how bright green that is. You're so tall, my tall. I am so tall. <laughs> ah, so now we're headed down to a place called The Gathering Place. It has food and Wi-Fi, because we both need to send out some texts. And I'm hoping to upload the rest of a video. But I'm not even really worried about that. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm carrying on today regardless. So... Yeah, and it's 16 miles to the next water. Jandals is being smart and bringing three liters, but I already got a lot of weight on my back, so I'm gonna go with two liters and hope for the best. Okay, we found the gathering place. And it looks like they might be putting up a cell tower today. Ah, uh, oh, I could use cell service, but no, I'll survive with that. Okay, so there's not a whole lot around here. There's that and those buildings right there. That's pretty much all the businesses around here that we can see. Cafe and pies. Oh, CDT supplies. Look at that. Nice. So, there is the CDT supply place right here next to the gathering house. It is not actually open yet. She's still getting busy, but by the time all the hikers get here, um, it will be open. But she gave me a set of sunglasses. I went in there and I was like, hey, you got any sunglasses for sale? She's like, yeah, I think I got some around here. And she didn't. Oh, uh, and there's her and another guy that's there with her. And he's like, hey, I got some back at my house if you want. I'll, I'll drive home and get them. And I'm like, you know, I want them, but I don't want to make a guy walk. And she's like, hold on, I think I got a set in the truck. And yeah, they're scratched up and whatnot, but they're free. Free, which is my favorite flavor. So Jandals and I are headed back to the trail, as diligent hikers do. And I just found out that that tower they're building right there is an AT&T tower, which is what I need. But, you know, we're a few days too early. Uh, such is luck. Okay. At least we lucked out on the Wi-Fi at, back at DeVille. Ah, uh, okay. Off to some road walking. Met a new hiker today. Turns out he's been right behind us for a while named Ryan. Seemed like a cool cat. We only had a few minute interaction. But he looks like he's down with the safety, so I'm hoping he catches up and I can prove that right. <clears throat> Because I am dry, brother, dry. Now, I made it out of town without purchasing any tobacco because tobacco is not convenient to purchase. If I walked a mile and a half out of my way, three miles round trip, I could have purchased tobacco, but no. Although the lady behind the counter did give me a cigarette, so there's that. But I'm not walking out with any tobacco, so hey, I'll consider it a win. <sighs> Lots of road walking. At least it's not muddy. It's dried out enough to where we're not slipping and sliding. It's still wet on the edges, but the middle's dry enough. And it's supposed to be in like the 70s for the next week or so. Music to my ears. But even though it's in like the mid-60s right now, it is pretty cold because as far as I know, New Mexico never stops being windy. Like there is always a cold breeze in this state. I think that should be part of their slogan. New Mexico, it's awesome. Except for the wind. Pretty sure they can put that on their license plates, right? Evidently, there's an Outfitters down this road. When the guess, I don't know how far down. But yeah, Manga's Outfitters. It's weird that it's called Manga. Uh, that's the Japanese uh, comic books. Uh, you know, kind of like our Marvel and whatnot, but slightly more perverted. A lot goes on in manga. Not all of it's perverted, but, you know, some of it is. Which you know, I kind of like. I don't often read comic books, but I do watch anime, and it's made from mangas. So I'm just watching a comic book, you know? Don't judge me. I'm an adult that likes to watch cartoons. But am I really an adult? Nah. Okay, so even though it's a dirt road... You gotta be careful. The locals around here are doing this road at like 60 and 70. Crazy, cause that was just a little uh, little hatchback that just went by. Should not be doing those speeds on dirt roads. Had a whole family in it too. Yeah. So, yeah, gotta be careful, man. 
I'm like, dirt road, everybody be driving kind of slow. No, not at all, not at all. The gas truck passed us by, you know, oh, one of the liquid propane ones. And he was doing like 55 down this. But I guess if you gotta drive down this road, it's boring, you've been on it a million times. I know people do, but they're still going faster than even I expected. In about 13 miles, which I doubt I will make tonight, there is a couple that's kind of opening up a place for bikers and, you know, because bicyclists do this as well, and hikers. Uh, but they said they hope to have picnic areas and showers and stuff for us. And it's my next water source anyway. 13 miles, but I'm planning on making it there tonight. Kind of wish I was, but I don't have that kind of oomph. Uh, Jandal's gonna make it. He's already like a mile ahead of me. He's a little pinprick on the on the horizon, but that guy's so much faster than I am. He waits for me all the time, but I was like, dude, go on ahead, man. Because he wants to go hang out with the other hikers and stuff and stay in that place. And I was like, no, nah, I'll pass you guys by early in the morning. I'll stop off there for water, naturally, because I kind of have to. Make some coffee if they got picnic tables to sit on, that kind of thing. But by the time these guys wake up, I should be a few miles down the road, as is my style. But I dig that, you know, places are opening up. Because I, I kind of worry about the future of the trails. You know, because a lot of time hikers are entitled, spoiled, little drunk, drug addict pieces of shit. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, I go around, I drink, and I smoke a little bit and stuff like that. But I'm not entitled by any means. I guess sometimes I get a little big for my britches, but uh, these punk ass 20 year olds with mommy's credit card, expecting everybody to bend over backwards for them, are flooding the trails. All right. And you know, they cheat their whole way up and then claim they did something with their life. Uh, but they're ruining the trail. Because, you know, a lot of these trail angels are backing out. On the PCT, oh, I, I have uh, insider information that a shit ton of the major trail angels are done in the next year or two. Because who wants to deal with 40 entitled little spoiled brats every day, unappreciative, come in, wreck your stuff, drink all over the place, litter, and then <clears throat> give you a bad attitude and leave. Nobody wants to deal with that, so... A lot of the major trail angels are just bailing. But these uh, trails aren't necessarily that easy without them. You know, uh, water caches. Uh, without water caches, I have no idea what I'd do. It's not like I can drive out here and put water for myself in select places to come pick it up later. On a lot of these parts, if somebody didn't put water at that 20 mile mark, you know, we'd have to walk another 20 miles. Who wants to carry 40 miles of water, especially dirty brown cow water? to walk 40 miles of dirty brown cow water. Really appreciate the people putting water out there, but I mean, how long is that gonna go on? How long are these trails gonna be so hiker friendly before they get sick of us? Glad I got my triple crown out the way before they ruined it for everybody, because I'm, I'm seeing that's the way it's gonna go. Although at the same time, in the future, there will be drone technology all over the place. So, you know, I can call in the taco drone or the beer drone or the water drone, whatever I need. Push a button, Amazon will have it delivered to me in 20 minutes or less. So I, mean, I guess there's that, huh? And it's about five o'clock, kind of still have eight miles left to go to that place. Don't think I'm gonna make it. These people for the last mile have had boots all over their fence. How many boots do these people own? Tops of them, a lot of these posts. Old boots for like a good mile so far. That looks like a cop car. What if it is? At least they got the spotlights and yeah, it's got lights on top. Hmm. Man, roadwalks are boring. And hell, I I think I still I I still got a lot of road walking to do. But you know, I've been on this same muddy road. Well, it's drier for two days now. And, you know, it's boring. It just is, I mean. Yay. Look at the stuff around me. It is so exciting. It's, it's just hard to make it fun. You know, I have a good time almost anywhere. I'm, I'm self-entertaining, but, yeah, hell, this is difficult. Private property warning, errors, area subject to security. What does that mean, subject to security? Sometimes there's security, sometimes they're not. Anyway, I don't think these people realize, but I'm probably gonna be sneaking onto somebody's land tonight to, to 
Delve Camp. If I pushed it, which I'm already beat, uh, and that would put me at 30 miles, if I pushed it, I might be able to make the next water source, which is the place that has, you know, camping and all that stuff. Oh, it sounds nice to get there, but I don't think I have it in me. I'm moving slower and slower. And I think I still have like five or six miles to go. And I still got a good solid hour and a half of sunlight left. But that's not enough to get me where I want to go. And I could walk in the night to get there. But I don't think I have that kind of energy. So, you know, we'll see. I'll wander until I can't. And then, you know, there's plenty of bushes and stuff to hide in. So it's not like I'm worried about having to stealth camp. I don't care about no trespassing signs. They've never mattered to me in the past. If you don't know I'm there, I didn't trespass. So, you know, it's been a pretty long day. Uh, you know, not by my, like, when I'm in hiker mode standards, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still getting there. But, I'm gonna make it. Today's gonna be a 30 mile day for me, but, but, I was rushing this morning, you know, uh, holding a three mile an hour, or near three miles an hour, for that first 14. Uh, no brakes. Um, on this 16, I've taken two brakes, they've both been short, but, you know, without tobacco or safety supplies, there's... What point is I take a break? I'll just walk slower when I get tired, kind of like I'm doing now. But I am, I'm gonna make it, yeah. I got enough time, the sun's still, you know, I still got an hour, an hour-ish, less than an hour. But, but I'm only a few handful of miles, so. So I'm doing better than I thought. Uh, my feet are pretty sore. But even sore right now, I'm holding, you know, two, two and a half. Um, so that, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm getting into a full swing hiker thing, man. Uh, that's because I got a lot of food on my back. I'm carrying more than I totally should, but the goodies that were sent to me, I couldn't, I couldn't pass most of them up. Uh, so that's my own fault. Whew. All right. Getting close. Oh, man, my pole is officially dead. I still got one. There's this little metal button right here. Uh, and it's just, it's gone. It somehow disappeared inside of this thing, so it doesn't hold it together anymore. So now I've got some trekking pole n nunchucks. Wah! Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, damn. I'll see if REI can fix it or set it back to Lecky. I'd prefer to keep my original poles. I mean, these things have traveled with me quite a bit, but I'm kind of gonna need some poles. So I'll see what they do. I'll take new ones if that's what they want to do, because I know they have a lifetime warranty. So, you know, whatever they want to do, but I would prefer they just fix it and send it back to me, but we'll see. Oh, uh, looking through the camera, I was like, oh, the black spot's finally gone! But it just moved underneath my record button, so I can't see it now. Because, okay, so that black spot is definitely not something on the screen, because it's on the move, man. It's somewhere slightly different every day. So I'm pretty pretty sure if like I, I zoomed in a little bit, like if I took my time and edited and just zoom, ah see just zoom a little bit, it's not on the screen anymore, right? And I could do that, but I'm way too lazy. So black smudge it is until I figure that one out. Oh, I was told that stars and stripes would mark where I'm going. Enhance. Yeah, baby, you never look so beautiful. Meow. So close. And all of a sudden, you know, when I got like less than a mile away, my feet just started hurting like they'd been raw all day. And it just caught up with me or something. I doubt there's any blisters or anything, but it's just like, I don't know where my feet were just like, dude, you are done. But no, I'm not. I'm too close to be done. But shadows are definitely getting long. I bet my shadow goes all the way over on that thing. Hold on, wait for it. Oh, yep, see, all the way over there. Hey. Yeah. Whew. So just in the nick of time. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I've gone close to 30s on this trail, but this is my first 30. And that's with a four-hour break. Gandalf and I took four hours off of High Town. <coughs> Although, he probably made it here an hour or two ago. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm happy to have arrived before the sun went down. Not a whole lot before the sun went down, but still before. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they call it... The TLC Ranch, CD Hikers and Cyclists, Camping and Water Through Gate. Awesome. Now I smell fire. 
and I heard voices, but it was off in like this direction over here. And so those aren't anybody's footprints I know of. Uh, I'm just looking for people's footprints I might recognize. Hmm. I don't know how far. Hey, 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 there's somebody. Okay, okay. Oh, that's Jandals. Okay, headed off in this direction. I'm gonna wander in this direction and see what happens. Ah, uh, so I was able to follow my nose. They got a smoker going on. Ah, Darian's here, monster. Of course, Jandals, because I kind of followed his footprints. Ooh, that's a nice skull. And a whole box of dead stuff? What? How cool. Check that out. Man, spines. We got some teeth, lower jaw, what? Oh, kick ass. I don't even know what kind of horns those are. What do you belong to? Like the devil or something? What, what are those horns? Oh man, all wrinkly? What? Nice. All right, so I'm probably crashing inside this. They got lots of them, but the owners aren't home yet. So they'll unlock them eventually. I'm just throwing my stuff down because I'm tired. It's a full moon tonight. Check out that bad boy. Boom, what's up moon? Okay, so I'm here hanging out. Um, we're going to wood fire some pizzas. Yeah. Or actually trying to smoke them. Put them on a smoker. See how it works. So it's the same thing as wood fire, I'm pretty sure. I'm just happy to eat them. Um, I, I, I named my first person. I don't throw out trail names. You know, I, I threw one out last year, but the guy did not accept it. I may have had him do a section again. Um, and I called him Redo because he did the section already. But that's more his fault than mine. But he, I don't believe he accepted it because he kept calling himself like Kevin or whatever his human name was. Ah, uh, but Darian, she, uh, she's called Oats now, cold Oats, because uh, the guy's place we were at, uh, John Davila, uh, when he ran into Darian, he found her on the side of the road crying, eating her cold oats, her last thing to eat, and she's in there crying and thinking, you know, like, what the hell am I doing out here, I'm so far away from town, and he's like, no, no. No, you're on my property, like, right there. You can you can go eat and shower and all this stuff, like, like right there, you know. So so the way she wrote it up in the, in, the, in the little log at the place, you know, she was writing up the little thing about eating cold. But it looked like she signed it as cold oats. So I, I started calling her that, and she doesn't mind it. It sticks, so she's cold oats. No more Darian. Let's see how many more times I run into her, though. These people are supposed to be going all fast, so... Everybody keeps talking about you doing huge days, but somehow I'm keeping up, so. But, you know, she's, she's got an agenda. She's supposed to be done by August, so if I'm keeping up, she's not going fast enough. Just saying. Uh, this is where I'm hanging tonight. I got this cool couch. It's definitely long enough for me to sleep on. It's a nice long trailer. Way deep in the darkness, Jandals is lying. Uh, and, and when he moves, the whole trailer moves. Yeah. So not only will this thing be rocking all night long, because he's a tosser and turn, but he hums. So he's going to be over there humming and tossing and turning. Yeah, I'm stuck with him. I'm used to it by now, though. Uh, but we have a heater. We have electricity. They're cooking pizzas for us. Uh, I'm a happy man. If my feet didn't hurt right now, I'd be ecstatic. But, you know, this is as happy as I can muster. I'm out of energy, man. Actually, I feel kind of nauseous. I need some food. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast or lunch or whatever that was. So, yeah. even though I got all that good food on my back, ooh, I didn't stop to consume any, you know. I just, you know, I had breakfast in my belly, and I was like, go. And then I didn't want to stop, because when you stop, you, you stop. It's hard to start moving again. Like now, I, I'm probably going to go in and try to get some pizza, but I don't want to stand up yet. <sighs> I'll be beat. beat. And we got to do 25 miles without water tomorrow. So, yay, I get to carry, like, even more water on my back. And do a 25 after 30. I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, with my puppy dog. I pet his butt, and now he's in love with me. Huh. With my friend now. All you gotta do is rub a big dog's butt. Yeah, that, that's what they like. So they got two huge dogs. I mean, we're talking big dogs. And they came over and all I did was rub their butts a little bit. And now we're friends. Uh, we're just like in the real world. Go up and rub somebody's butt. They'll be your friend. Okay, Jandals was oh trying to pet God. the dog's butt. Yeah. Uh, face the camera. <laughs> oh, you. yes, there we go. Jandals was trying to pet the dog's oh, butt and be like Nightcrawler. The dog bit, his, it, bit it right in the face. Got me good. Yeah. Did he bite you or scratch you? You don't know how to touch a butt. Yeah, I've got to touch a butt better. Yeah. Okay, day 23. Rough day, man. 
30 miles, full resupply on our back, but, you know, lots of high points. Uh, awesome resupplies. I mean, those were some really great resupplies. Uh, I just got to watch Jandals get bit in the face by a dog. That's a highlight. Uh, <laughs> what, 30 miles? Um, and feel pretty good about it. I don't have any new blisters to speak of. I thought I might. Ooh, got some ingone toenails giving me problems, but I just cut a couple of them out. I, I have a few. But I'm taking time off when I get up into the next town, which isn't that far. Another 50, 60 miles or something. Easy peasy, I might get that done in one day. Um, I'll have time to take care of everything. I have a lot of YouTube woes to fix, so I'm just going to sit in Grants, is what it's called. And I have a lot of food on my back, and I mailed food up there, so I don't have to spend any money, and I'm just going to live the homeless life, and hopefully there's signal, but if not, I'll find a hijack, I'll hijack some Wi-Fi. Um, and solve my YouTube woes. Um, so, you know, these people are really got nice. This is called the TLC Ranch, and they've been taking care of hikers for a while. They're really excited about it. They're going to make us, what is it, um, biscuits and elk gravy in the morning. I have never had elk gravy, but, you know, hell, I'm game. I, li I like food. Oh, but they're, oh, so good to us. But, uh, they kept us up really late. It's like 10-something right now. Uh, it took longer to cook the pizzas. Like, they were hand-making the dough and everything. You know, they weren't... They weren't going, you know, getting any store-bought stuff. They did everything themselves, so uh, I, I was beat. But, you know, hospitality, man, you can't pass that up. And it's rude to, uh, you know, fall asleep when they're cooking in there. So we waited as long as we could, getting weary, because, you know, we're, it, we're all hikers, and we want to go to bed early. And then I made friends with their big dogs and petted their butts, and channels tried to do the same, and it bit them in the face. Oh, I should have recorded that. I didn't see that coming. The dog was like snarling on its lip a little bit, but sometimes dogs do that when they're happy. When you're scratching their butt, you know, they get all excited and their lip just, you know, but no, it did straight wet for him. But he's a big boy. He'll live. Maybe you get a cool scar out of it or something. All right, so end of day 23. Uh, let's go sleep and get some elk gravy.